Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis. I'm Jordan. I got a notification from my uh, tag a second ago saying, hey, you left your bag behind, right? That's fine. I don't always take my bag with me. Yeah. I am so prone to losing shit. So you know me. I have air tags scattered around. Right. Like beetles roaming around my apartment. Mm-hmm. And I get pissed off every time it does that. I bought them. I, d- d- I set them up to tell me. And every time it pings me, I'm like, ugh, I know. I have an air tag on Dipper's collar, and if I get a push notification that says you left Dipper behind, it makes me sad. I know. I, well, as it, as it triggers fight or flight for a second. Right, like, you know, uh, where is he? Is he uh-uh. okay? He, he's driving the car. <laughs> what? That's like uh, when I'm away, I get security camera notice, like notifications about like when people are, like when Jacob and Anastasia showed up at the um, at the office while I was gone. I got a notification about it. I got a notification about it, and I was like, oh, no, someone should tell Jacob and Anastasia that we're not doing the podcast because I'm out of town. Remember, guys, we had meetings about this. Somebody used to tell them that someone else is breaking in right now. Yeah, and it looks just like them. <laughs> Look out, changelings. <laughs> Yo, well, no. They're every type in addition to their other types. Oh, shit. We're already on magic talk. I know. we got to stop. Um, well, the one thing, the update that I have is uh, – uh, conclusion to my my saga this month i was playing a bunch of doing a bunch of drafts uh in magic arena and i was just enjoying myself and having fun Whoa. and Jesus. then one of my friends sent me a screenshot of them hitting mythic in limited and i was like this cannot stand i also need to have that achievement uh a friend who i we i know for, you know for a fact is a very well-meaning good-spirited person and it is still infuriating. Oh, it's like also because we just like chat a lot about it because it's like both of our one of our hobbies right now. And so uh, I was like, oh, I didn't know we were trying. <laughs> so then pushing this, up the glasses the past couple of. Yeah, hold on. Um, oh, I didn't know we were trying. Oh, my work. <laughs> <laughs> you so, teleport to your laptop. <laughs> so then I had to do maybe one of the hardest things. Uh, and I am the bravest boy. I had to play magic without listening to anything or watching anything on the side. God, that I had is... to actually commit my full attention I don't to like the game. That, dude. As of you yesterday. You raw dogged it. I know. I raw dogged playing magic. Uh which which as of yesterday, I did officially hit Mythic and Limited. Um, so I know all of the cards in Bloombro. I've played too many Bloombro drafts. Jacob, do we have the technology? Does anyone at this point to play an applause? Like um Super low bitrate, choppy, bad sounding applause. Sound yeah, there we go. Wow. It's a, it's almost like it's coming from inside the room. No way. Uh, they they I, don't know. I understand, you know, uh, for some people that's impressive. For some people it's not impressive. But for me, it's about committing yourself to a goal and achieving it. Yeah. And, uh, and I feel good about that. And, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, like what deck did you play? Well, this is limited. So it's, it's draft. So I had to m- make a new deck every time. And learn the ways. So of the I had bloom. to just use my brain. I had to learn the ways of the bloom. Dude. I had to burrow. I had to burrow. I had to. I had to become a changeling. Shout out to uh, another convert that we've made, almost like a, a, a legally obliged convert to the magic way. Uh, one of our editors, Austin. Austin now in. officially bought his first commander deck. So, which is a fun thing to do to like employees because they have to spend money on it. You know what I mean? I also because I am um, addicted to the progression of anything in life i think anything where i can like improve i like start i have an addictive personality for that uh i've also looked into coaching for magic just because i think it'd be because it's like doing or receiving receiving like i want to get better even though i'm fine i want to like continue to improve uh and also just get a second opinion and there's just so much data and so many smart people around that i'm just like "Ah, teach me i guess i'm more of a giver i'm like an empath or whatever but yeah uh so anyway but i'm also i want to bring everybody up with me so if anybody else send that ladder back down yeah send that ladder back down send that i'm on the helicopter i'm like (laughs) unraveling the rope ah my head the rope ladder no catch it tom uh, tom scott grabs it (laughs) tom 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 scott old uh tom scott old head of farm if you uh (laughs) If, E-I-E-I-O. If you, Jordan, E-I-O. <laughs> you're probably wondering <laughs> why I'm in this field. What does the cow say? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll explain. But first, 
But first, but how do you do Times Square? But first, we have to talk about the dollar. <laughs> it's like, it's like, how is it? You know, it's like, hmm. uh, I lost it, but I had it for a second. Scratching his chin. Hmm. I'm here at the top of a helicopter. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, Tom, why have you cho- chosen to do this? <laughs> probably thinking, what? Are you, what? You're, <laughs> yeah. Huh? You're probably thinking, why have you done this? Don't. What? Don't. Come? Don't do it. Tom, look out. It's an attack helicopter <laughs> with a bunch of Gatling guns. <laughs> that would be cool if he got picked up by an Apache. Yeah. That'd be sick. Right. Uh... <laughs> The Gatling gun. Why do I keep doing the voice wrong? We're gonna stop that. He's a okay. Unicorn. Uh, how, the, how the fuck are you? Uh, I'm fine. Sorry, that was intense. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm fine. I had like kind of a weird like. We returned back from, or I got back from a trip, and then. Uh, oh, we got back from a trip. Then you went on another. We got back trip. from a trip. Then I went on another trip, and which was more or less relaxing. But and really exciting. It was at Pokemon World, and I talked about it on last week's Boys Nights. And I have, we'll talk about that. We'll talk some more about that later in this episode. But time difference was not severe. But you know, if you just get off on the wrong foot with sleep, it can just like continue to propagate. I've heard. That yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, have yeah. A I know sleep you schedule. normally you just like as soon as your head hits the pillow, you're like knocked out. Z z z z. Yeah, yeah. I have a little feather that I'm blowing up and down. <laughs> right, I... right. The z. There's very physical z's that uh, escape yeah. your mouth. It's yeah. hitting Katie in the head. <laughs> yeah, she's like, ow. Don't stop. <laughs> um, you're so serene. <laughs> but so that combined with me grinding uh, in arena was a bad thing for my sleep schedule, and then we also like had some big film days right after we got back. So uh, last night was the first night I uh, slept like a, at a normal time. I did wake up at 1 a.m., walk downstairs, chug a Coke. Respect. And then I went back. I don't know why any of this happened. Went back up. I went, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, dude. That was the best drink I've ever had. It was like something that I like tried to get a different drink from like takeout or something the other day and they put like a Coke in my bag and I just put it in the fridge. So then I went down to the, uh, I went downstairs. Don't know why. I was like, maybe I'm thirsty. Maybe I'm hungry. Why am I doing this? Like I wasn't fully conscious. Your eyes would roll back in your I head. was like, at least I could figure out how the stairs worked. I was like, that's a concern. If <laughs> I'm like, huge win. <laughs> yeah. And then chugged the Coke, which I feel like is caffeine. Why would I do that? And then I went back up to bed. This is 1 a.m. And then I wake up the next time at 8 a.m. for my alarm. And I'm like, did that even happen? Like, what was that about? (laughs) You're holding the can. (laughs) Yeah. Still. I've got like dried Coke all over my face. And I'm like, what happened last (laughs) night? (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Yeah. Bloody footsteps woke up to your bed for some reason. (laughs) Sticky footsteps. (laughs) I had so much Coke. (laughs) (laughs) There was way more than 12 (laughs) ounces in that can. Uh, Yeah. I mean, I. Oh, dude. If you have pizza and then in the middle of the night you just wake up and have a bunch of water or anything like that because of all the salt content, oh, you're so dude. thirsty. I, it's better than the pizza. I've been pounding Liquid IV as I often do. So Liquid IV, you've sponsored my channel before. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. I drink. I use the product so much. We have your packets over there, Liquid I, We IV. have our packets in our little like uh, Sad Boys emergency station. There's no branding on this bottle because no free clout, but Liquid IV, it could be you. I, I could be using some other sort of electrolyte powder right now. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll say because they're not sponsoring us right now, um, If you, I'll, I'll get, oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, you're going to get so you, um, you're toast. Um, I also, normally I never reach out to brands, but for brands that I specifically use, I have no shame about it. So I did send a message to... Um, Ultimate Guard, and I did send a message to Game Genic, which are companies that make uh, card sleeves <laughs> and boxes. Brother, and I said, "Hey, we'll mount them right here." I'm right like, "I'm us. your guy," uh, but they were like, "We'll get back to you." And then another one said, "We don't have a creator program," and I'm like, "Well, explain how you sponsor all these other things, then, okay?" Well, please, Pre- um, please, I'll well, do please. anything, okay? Because I use your products a lot. <laughs> yeah, well. Do it, please, or I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'm gonna get you. You'll tell us. How about you? How are you doing? Um, I'm all right. I don't. Um, yeah, I, I, you know me. Not uh, often. Not the sleep 
bastard either. I did have to, I had to call the UK a couple of times to do some like estate related things and um, not real estate. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I own the palace actually. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, hey. Uh, but I, some like wrapping up family estate stuff and I, I have to do it in the hours between like yeah. 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. our time. And uh, even though I often will just accidentally stay up that time, mm-hmm. I think something about having this thing I really, that was going to be very like emotionally intense on the horizon made the staying up, there was no catharsis in it. Like I'm just sitting there avoiding it, playing on the PS5 and it, it, all the playing, I feel like I'm like, oh, my parents are going to find out I didn't do my chores or something. Like I'm, I'm anxious about it, but uh, I don't know. I was doing doing my dastardly deeds yesterday. I was organizing some cards, you know how I am. And I did some emails and I realized that anxiety that i feel very ambiently is not i don't think it's because of anything mm. i think there's always the visa stuff and there's often like a thing i have that i should be doing for that and often you know uk estate stuff there's a thing i should be doing but i don't have it's like uh ever since i came back or ever since like the show's been doing well and, and other things have been stabilizing and the fewer and fewer things to worry about and obviously like being a doing full-time care is like that's yeah you need to be on right but now i it's like there's that cav we've talked about it before there's like a cavity of stress the muscle memory of like there. oh i have this stress response yeah and so i'm having it but i am no longer having it in response to anything well you know if you get uh i know you, you, you've had it before when you hurt your back mm-hmm. you're it takes so long often to heal and do physio and stuff that you start to like bend different do ways to different, accommodate. Yeah. You and know then you're funny? completely healed and you still like, like I won't, I had a, uh, used to have like a lat injury from like 10 years ago that would just flame up for some reason really often. And that doesn't anymore. But when I pick something up off like a desk, I use my left hand. When I would mm. never be left handed, disgusting. Oh. Uh, but I, do, I, I can do this now, but I used to not. So yeah. I will still go, I'll go like, oh, careful. <laughs> when I, whenever I walk up hills, so, so when I, I like had like a lower back strain when I was training for creator class. And so I was in PT a lot and, um, Pacific time pro tour. No. <laughs> I was competing in mini magic tournaments. Congrats, dude. Uh, I was in uh, physical therapy and the, first of all, like anytime I'm doing like, cause I've done boxing as exercise, like since doing that and I have specific exercises that I do because of that injury. And now it more or less doesn't impact my day to day. But whenever I'm walking up a hill, I remember that if I feel like I'm fine, but there's a little bit of, or if I'm on a run, there's another thing where it's like, I feel like I'm fine. But the next day it's like, I wake up with like a knot Mm. and like, it's like not a really, but it's more like a tightness, like in, and it is uncomfortable and it makes me feel like something's wrong. And Did, so I'm like, whoopsie. The the late twenties onwards, like the realization that we've eclipsed what the uh, lifespan was supposed to be for us species. <laughs> where like, yeah. oh, this just starts happening, and then in twenty years we're just like a big cast, right? Just wrapped up like mummies. Um, ah, dude, will you be? I'll a mummy. <laughs> yeah, will you, bro? Will you be a mummy with please me? Please be my will mommy. You be, will you be my? Hold on, <laughs> wait. You ever watched Under Wraps? Yeah, the Disney Channel original movie. I it's the only ever uh, I've seen that Xenon and Smart House. Okay, those are two. Of <laughs> honestly, the trifecta. Loved them. Under wraps is one of the weirdest fucking so movies. Weird. It is like for people who don't know, the premise of Under Wraps is that it, it's kind of a classic. The kids befriend Bigfoot in the woods, but they've got to hide him. It's like an ET style thing. Instead, instead of something whimsical or fan, fantastical, it is a ancient. Egyptian, presumably like God or Pharaoh, yeah. that has been mummified and is, you know, you know rotting. <laughs> like it's not doing too bad, but you know, it can't be mummified. It's like thousands of years old. Right. I mean, if it's <laughs> if it's one year old, it's unrecognizable. <laughs> yeah. And it's got the wrapped and it yeah. looks pretty gross. Yeah. But I, I think it's if I'm remembering, maybe I should check the synopsis. Correct me if I'm wrong. They have to. It is, it is a we're gonna save the rec center style plot for some I, reason. I, that sounds right to me. I haven't watched it. They in have it. to get the mummy somewhere by midnight on some, and the mob is after them. They're like trying to get a. Wasn't there another movie about uh, 
a similar thing where it's like mom's got a date with a vampire or something like that. Oh, jeez. Uh, wait. Can oh, we, that's a nasty looking mummy. Can you, for, can you search for mom's got a date with a vampire? Also, they made Underwraps 2 in 2022. A little late. What? Why go to Underwraps 2 at that point? Wow. Okay. That is a real movie that exists. Crazy. Who are we looking wait, at? Wait, isn't that What's Her Face from Z? No, she wasn't Xenon, was she? We go with the future? No, 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 she wasn't. And then another classic. Not only right? Wait, can we search for uh, My Date with the President's Daughter? <laughs> this one I did here, I've not This one is awesome because it has a song that goes, My Date with, my the, date president. with the President's Daughter. <laughs> my Date <laughs> That's the with name. the President's <laughs> Daughter. Oh, yeah. My I, Date with on. her. <laughs> Jacob, go to synopsis uh, if there is a... Slightly extended one. I want to see if I can. Oh, I guess this it. wasn't D- a decom, was it? Or maybe it was it's a decom. A, I'm a not sure. Taglines: She's five minutes late. Alert the national guard. <laughs> 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 it's a bad one. Uh, Hallie, is that how you say that? Hallie, ha- Hallie, yeah. Hallie has a curse. She's the you daughter. Know, sometimes, of the sometimes she will person. pronounce it Haley, but like. She this did. is a situation where in it's an English situation where you just have to be told. You gotta but Hallie it. is how I would pronounce that. I just want to have as much respect as possible for the. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Hallie has a curse. <laughs> uh, she's the daughter of the American president. So it's a trailer. And right? to make matters worse, it's an election year. And then it's her doing this because the dad's Aww. being the do, her, the president's being embarrassing, and then the dog that's her dog also looks embarrassed. You know. But all she wants to do is go out on a date. She's sighing, hand on hand on chin, and then rolling her eyes at her embarrassing dad. Fortunately, Geeky Duncan has what? the same goal. <laughs> I thought his, dad, his name was Deaky Duncan. <laughs> hey, hey, dad. Fortunately, Freaky Duncan. <laughs> Ugly stupid. That's the Duncan. X-rated one. Fortunately, Geeky Duncan has the same goal. When they finally get to the date, however, a series of incidents oh, could seriously geez. damage the relationship. Yeah, national security. They could damage national security. Jesus. Yeah. What, what it's about? a bad, really bad date. Whoa. They they accidentally they, they tr- uh, are kind of flirting, and he leans forward to kiss her on the cheek and then stumbles onto the nuclear codes. I mean, this is, like, Whoa. real, because, like, didn't, like, Malia Obama, like, go on a date, and they were like, um, <laughs> wow, really? <You're>, as <laughs> yeah. president, you're letting your daughter go on a date? Yikes. Uh, not a good look. Yeah. This is similar to the plot of... Uh, red, white, and royal blue that recently came out on Amazon Prime. Whoa! But it's gay. And okay. Oh, slow this, down. Okay, it's twenty twenty four. It's a little progressive. And in this it's case, Duncan is a prince. Mm. The prince. The prince of like the, the Fresh King Prince. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh, he's all covered in cake. That's embarrassing. Oh, yeah. let them eat cake. Remember? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, let me. He's the prince of England. Yeah. Oh wow. Henry. So, yeah, the son of close. the president and the, the oh. prince of England uh, are dating and they're gay. Oh, All right. but he has a rivalry. <laughs> I love your laugh. It's so bad. But yeah, I think that was a prime original. Um, wow. And it was original. It was really bad. Starring Hunter Biden. Yeah. <laughs> What's um, the tagline for that one? Yeah. Love who you want. It's a good Foreign policy. That's pretty good. That's pretty That's clever. Good. They, but it's the same construction as the other tagline that says, uh, if you just go back down to the tagline area, the other tagline, which is, love gets royally complicated. That's a more classic. They're like, they're like we're going to add an adjec- a pun adjective to another sentence. Yeah. They also, in the original one, they put that. In, that's a long line to be in cursive. I found Jacob, it this isn't difficult. our place, but you should start a series reviewing these gay rom-coms. <laughs> what did I watch recently? I watched, I think it's Meet You in Scotland. This is, by the way, a movie that auto-played. Uh, yeah, that, this is it. Is he, is she old business, business, business? And he's a... Uh, reg- yeah, oh, he's wearing a kilt. I can't believe, by the way, uh, to our <laughs> Irish and Scottish fans, I'm sorry I mixed you up with one another. Uh, <laughs> Neither of you want to be associated with this movie, so we, uh, we apologize. Yeah, my our, my bad. <laughs> um, This is... Uh, I think probably one of those direct to freebie or some shit movies. <laughs> yeah. B- Bled box. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, this is a Foxy original. And it is like so hard to watch. What is she holding? And this is to say nothing of the everyone making the movie. I always feel this way is is talented at their craft. Something happened and usually it's the forces of capitalism that that 
created a market for this thing that is is supposed to be bad uh because because that's just how it is yeah i mean there's no uh in the same realm as like um it, it, that's what directing is it's like yeah. bringing together all these incohesive parts like did you guys see the idea of you did we talk about that the idea of the you? idea of you no i don't think so misleading storyline that's what the first review is misleading <laughs> i don't think i know what it is D- yeah someone goes to the movie and says, i felt really misled i was supposed to meet them in scotland yeah i'm at amc <laughs> yeah wait, hello is there anyone there <laughs> It's the weirdly like oh with Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway movie. Wait from hold on, sorry. Uh, Wait, do, what? do you guys want to postpone the podcast? I got to go watch a horny Anne Hathaway movie. I have to go watch Michael Showalter's. Oh, that's crazy. Michael Showalter. Showalter. Jesus, it's a bizarre Directed match. Directed it too. Damn. I guess it, it is a comedy. Remember where Michael and Michael have issues. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a heater. It's so yeah. funny. I heard Michael Showalter go on Comedy Bang Bang and talk about this, and without looking up the movie, I assumed it just, you know, the I wasn't picturing green, deep bokeh background yeah. laughing with a guitar. I was picturing like a little good. bit more self-aware. Yeah, a little weird. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Well, Jacob Cedar. <laughs> Maybe it is. I mean, it is weird. Oh, it's weird, but oh. not in a good way. Uh, yeah, in a little bit uncomfortable way. Okay, well. Uh, I can... What's hey, the... I can Hathaway, though. Remember when people used to like hate Anne Hathaway online? Yeah, I did. did she do anything for that? Do, do it was to weird. Be like it was like famous... a thing where it's like come back around, where it's like it started with everybody being mean to Anne Hathaway and like saying she was like a a b word and stuff, and then uh, and then she, to the point where people started being like, "Hear me out," and then it was a photo of like Anne Hathaway, and I was like, "You are on crack." <laughs> 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 what do you mean? This is. A deranged. Yeah, video. What do you mean? Um, it Anna Hathaway in Les Mis. Yeah, looks why did everyone, everyone hate in the Anna world. Hathaway? <laughs> yeah, worthless reply. I had no idea she was disliked. Really? Dude. Wait, I do like this. This is a classic Reddit style comment. Really? You don't see why she's disliked? She's a pathetic prototype of an asshole. Relax. So wait, so this Seven is implying that she's not even good at being an asshole. <laughs> and then they say <laughs> beta. <laughs> yeah, she's a pathetic prototype. So she's a bad example of an asshole. She's quite nice. It's like Justin Bieber hate, probably. I don't actually know if she's done anything horrible. I know. I I have tried to find out in the past. It does appear like just being a successful woman in the world is what bothers them. But also, I mean, this oh, this list is absolutely correct. It happened to Jennifer Lawrence. Absolutely did happen to Sandra Bullock. Jim well, Parsons. so how about philosopher number 1784 here? That's a philosopher. Uh, which says, Hathaway is not hated for being a feminist if she is one at all. She's annoying and thinks herself cute and smart, and she's cloying and irritating, okay? Dude, that's that's all that's going on. So yeah. people just it, think she's annoying. You that's don't like, know her. It's so <laughs> wild to go on Reddit and be like, um, you don't get the hate. She is annoying. She bothers Look me. Look at her face. Ew. It's beautiful. Everyone <laughs> hates the, her. <laughs> Everyone hates her because she makes me feel uh, insecure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. This is so crazy. By the way, I've started. I've been doing a thing like a kind of an. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a stimming action, but it's like kind of a thing where I look like when I reset my face, I like raise this eyebrow. I go. Mm. And I started to feel like mm. Crystalia. <laughs> because that used to be his thing. And I, Tenders? <laughs> I did, uh, did we watch that on the show? Yeah, I can't remember. I think so. I'm obsessed with these like ridiculous clips of him at like the Laugh Factory. Yeah, They're pull, so bad. Can we pull up, uh, see if there's anything fresh, but the I think it was on the Patreon that we watched the Tenders, and I do want to get it out to the world. Oh, we do, yeah. Oh, oh he's oh, The he's post suspended? is from a suspended account. It wasn't from, it was like an edit though. I think, I, I don't think it was, like, I think that they had creatively edited him. Oh. Oh, oh wait. They clipped it. Normal guy. They dodged the smoke this time. This is like in magic when you target a, uh, when you like target a permanent and then uh, that permanent like gets flickered or something. Mm. And so it becomes an invalid target because when the permanent re enters the battlefield, if it had changed zones, it's treated as a new object. I've been reading into a lot of magic rules uh, lately, like the extended rules and, uh, or not extended, but the comprehensive rules. I'm watching a lot of judging videos just cause I love a fun fact. And guess what? There's a lot of fun facts in the interactions between weird magic cards. You no, know, lock me up. Is lock that so up. bad? 
Because well, I'm so bad. Just because okay. I killed all... Well, hold on. I guess that would be... Wait, maybe tell, more, tell us more about that Don't lock me up for that. Well, you should, I suppose. No, you should lock you up. But did that happen? Is that... <laughs> are, is this a confession? Uh, speaking what? of trading cards... Give <laughs> you confessions. <laughs> speaking of trading cards, I did... Uh, <laughs> Jacob told us about something in the meeting, and I said, no more. I can't hear any more in this meeting. Shut the hell up. We have to, <laughs> we have to watch it on the pod. Yeah, I said, Jacob, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Stop telling me about this movie. Just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm stopping. Like a child. Um, yeah, you guys are going to love this, I hope. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, jump scare. Okay, so Trump so this, is So this guy's kind of like the, um, the president in... A movie I just watched. It's called My Day with the President. Yeah. Oh, wait. Before we actually... I, I did want to say something. So, uh, we've had a constant and consistent beef with the yard. Um, and <laughs> it's completely real and not at all fake. But uh, one thing that I'm jealous of that the yard does is I think Slime and maybe Aiden or Nick. I'm not sure who, but I know Slime's involved. They have a decom... <laughs> They have a decom like show uh, on their Patreon that you can like oh. get their commentary with it. And as someone who's like made videos about multiple Disney Channel original movies, I feel like I want to do that for our podcast. But now, if I if we steal exactly that idea, then we're ripping off the yard. But like, what about all of the years I've spent tough tough titties yard? Yeah, I'm like, what, what about all the years I spent making. Videos about d- decoms. Sorry, slime man. Um, it's, it's all ours, pal. What are you hey, gonna do? Hey, you you know who directed Smart House? Levar Burton. He watched my video, so I'm gonna ask him for permission. He watched that but video. No, it would be, he raised me in his home. He, he is my dad. Raised me in his home. Yes. And I, I don't know if we, that's something we would do, but it is something that crossed my mind to bring up in a meeting. Well, I mean, one. As is that I've barely seen any of them, so that is a good like. And I've seen so many crossover point. And I used to watch them all because they would just rerun and rerun and rerun. I would watch Meet Me in Scotland, <laughs> and, and look at Ireland. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay, so uh, maybe this is a question for the audience, um, and also the yard. <laughs> can, can we do it? <laughs> I got a I question. Prom- I have. Uh, look, there's like years of. Me talking about decoms, it's in it's in the lore. I'm, I've got a question for the yard. Shut up. Yeah. Do you guys have Smart House on DVD? Because I do. It's uh-huh. right there. Yeah. Here's my question. How about you leave? Go away from me. Yeah. Got him. How about how about? Okay. Do you have Mario Kart Double Dash? Yeah. I bet you don't. I think that's your copy. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. There's a few things in here that are just like yours. Like I think there's two copies of Melee here, and one of them is yours and one of them is mine. That does sound like. A... Or there's like two copies of I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of things that um, you know. Some people lose stuff in the divorce. I gained things in the <laughs> you getting moved out of the country. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, and actually, then, like, come now, to think of it, who reported me? Yeah, and then. What did you seek to gain? No, I, I, I seeked. To game. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't. See- and I know I sought is what I should have said there, but if for the rhyming the joke is more fun. Seeked works, okay. All right. And speaking of working, no one works harder. El Capitan. Than former president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Dude, shout out to this set for helping me remember what country it is. Shout out to his. <laughs> shout out to his hair from being a perfect gradient it is for it. <laughs> Yeah, has he always been doing that? What changed? We talked about the uh, the Theo Vaughn interview, right? Right, right. Um, I watched it back on the TV at home, and the way his makeup is just a perfect circle around his face, and his hair is thinning, so you can see how white his skin actually is. Why did he keep doing this him? Did you see the high def photo that got released of his face? No. At like a... <laughs> it's... There it is. This? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh... Oh, it's like a, a microbe. It's like... <laughs> it's like yeah, it's, it's like, like looking a, under something with a yeah, telescope. That's with a microscope. Yeah, it looks like a tardigrade. It's like waterline and then his ears. Like, just be white. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, he's always telling us this. Hey, your words. That's what... <laughs> Jacob says that to us. What the hell? Without context all the time. That was actually goes, the beard. Just be yeah. white. We were reacting to black white yesterday. And he's like, leave him alone. So... Hey. Actually, now that we're now that we're mentioning it, um, <laughs> now that I just mentioned it, I brought it up myself. Uh, we 
had a gold video just come out Duh. of uh, uh, the finale of Black White. Uh, the our, 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 our reaction series that started a couple years ago. So that's all wrapped up. And today, um, so first of all, you should check that out. And then there will be a long form version of that. That's the full reaction coming to Jarvis Johnson Live, dusting off that channel because that's like where the other ones are. And then uh, today for Sad Boys Nights, you don't have to have seen the gold video, but we are going to look at some of the DVD special features of mm. uh, Black White, which include but are not limited to all six episodes with audio commentaries. That could be a project. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, uh, no guarantees on that. But Ice Cube's music video, which we have seen before, original casting videos. Can't wait. I've got to watch those. Makeup application slideshow. Rose's Poetry Slam featurette, oh. which I'm like, wasn't the didn't it's I feel like I saw enough of it in the show? show. Oh, yeah, that's like, the last episode. They were like, "Wow, we really got a story about Rose's journey in uh, Trojan horsing a black poetry group." <laughs> it's more drafts of her first poem. That's like the kissing, sucking, yeah, <laughs> nasty, sexy one, and as well as study guides. What? Um, How and, to? <laughs> and here's the thing: a DVD ROM. It gives an asterisk. A DVD ROM on a PC with Windows 98 or a higher oh, okay. is necessary to operate this feature. And then in all caps it says, This will not work in a CD ROM drive. <laughs> Scanning. So, so with that, uh, you can check that out on Sad Boys Nights, which is our premium Patreon podcast that you can get for as low as five dollars a month. There's over 70 episodes, over 70 hours at this point of, Ugh, of content. Uh, you don't have to say subscribed. You can uh listen to it all and unsubscribe or you can continue subscribing which we appreciate it really helps us out but only if you're using your discretionary entertainment spending on it we don't want you to break the bank for this it's just yourself. content it's at the end of the day it doesn't matter don't worry about it so that'll be uh today on nights we'll be looking into that and maybe we'll do future ones but check out the gold video let's watch this oh captain mcgaptain so this is on truth social Perfect. um i just i've never seen the Truth social website and by the way Rip to your already terrible internet recommendations, Jacob, because <laughs> uh, you're all you're on truthsocial.com. So I just want to point out how uh, Truth Social is like more or less a Twitter clone, but having truth in the top left corner is like so funny. Um, Jacob, would you mind retruthing this post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can retruth, and then if you scroll up to the top. It says truth details, <laughs> like because details. that normally says tweet details, and they just ripped Twitter off verbatim. <laughs> truth details. Truth details. You know the details about the truth. Oh, please? did I just truthed it? And actually, if you can check out the truth details, if you, wanna... I think I could lie on it. I um, think if I was on the plat, I could figure out. All right. know, what do they know? Retruth is so fucking funny. Like you could not. Like it's better than parody because it's yeah. real. Retruth it. Re and it's like a public company that's worth a lot of money that like I think lost a lot of value when Trump went back to Twitter because they were like Traitor. this is the only reason people go to this website. Traitor. Sorry, sir. I keep wanting to salute with my left hand, but I've heard that's impolite or bad or something. Oh shit! I just did it with mine. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, sorry, pal. Flip you didn't the... want to hurt your back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The captain. Hello, everyone. This is your favorite president, Donald J. Trump, with some very exciting news. He said that like in a very cute, like childlike <laughs> way. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is your favorite president. He does have a. The more he leads into his weird accent, he does that sound like a baby. <laughs> like, oh, no, we can, we can it's like a, like an eight year old is like, and I'm your favorite baby. <laughs> it's a favorite. I tell you what, mate. I'm 30 years old. I haven't had that many presents. <laughs> Like, your favorite president? I mean, what? Four? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a great right, yeah, I don't. I, I also, I don't think any of them are my favorite. I don't think I like any. I'm, so a, I I'm a throwback kind of guy. I feel like the whole idea is that you like someone until they become president, and then you're like, oh, they're kind of <laughs> complicit in all the horrible shit that we're doing. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we can't like them that much anymore. Uh, I guess I, it's my favorite in the same sense that I'd like rather have chlamydia than gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, don't get me wrong. I'm going to vote for what I believe is right, <laughs> but I'm going to complain the whole way. <laughs> yeah, I don't like him. By popular demand, I'm doing a new series of Trump digital trading cards. You all know what they are. We've had a lot of fun with <laughs> Wait, spaces or not?
valid characters in URL. <laughs> and they have clearly no. put space between <laughs> collect Trump, Trump cards. Trump com. Com. So <laughs> no one no one watching this who's like, oh I gotta collect the Trump cards is gonna type that shit well, in the right way. What if they what if it's saying collect Trump and then it's cards.com? Right. They somehow that go cards.com. America first. America first, because that's just... I feel like they just stamp random phrases. <laughs> <laughs> this can be, basically says, like, Bazinga! <laughs> exclamation point. Did I do that? Yeah, it's like, Bazinga, collect the Big Bang Theory <laughs> NFT collection today. Uh, dude, what is that? At collectsheldonscards.com. <laughs> These are just AI, right? Surely. He's, Trump... Is he knee he's <laughs> kneeling at the Super Bowl? Trump digital trading card with an NFT in parentheses is very funny because <laughs> that's normally what you do with an acronym. Yeah. And I was like, that is not what NFT stands for. Nump <laughs> Nump trading sards. Trump digital trading cards are intended as collectible items for individual enjoyment only, not for investment vehicles. Oh. Um so it's an NFT that is not for investment. Well, NFTs are just the technology and it stands for non fungible token. Really and with a non fungible token, you can be able to can track it on the blockchain. Steam. <laughs> uh, what's it? Yeah, I turn red. <laughs> comes out my ears. What's his power and toughness? Oh, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, this is a collectible card game and uh, all you can do is collect. Right. No, it says, okay, no, no, I, I'm lying. It says collect there and it says trading there. So, huh? no, but there's no game, unfortunately. Oh. As you all know what they are, we've had a lot of fun with them. It's yeah, they're AI, 100%. The first Wait, what the fuck is that one? Is he in hell? <laughs> like one set before this, yeah, yeah, on goes. the left. <laughs> What's he doing? First of all, he's, he's this, is, this is like what happens when he... Yeah, well, he's in heaven on the right. Oh, I see. That's and then true. on the left, oh, that's, that's what happens when he's mid-transformation sequence. Oh, I see what it is. You know, he's he does like, his he's like, magical like, girl pose. Yeah, yeah, he does his magical <laughs> girl pose, and he, you see a naked silhouette of his body. <laughs> um, he's the right arm of the Voltron. Right, right, right. And then, yeah, he's uh, he's White Falcon. Uh uh, he's he's got a like a saber tooth tiger situation going on. God, that's it's cool. like a Power Ranger. Oh, that's kind of sick. Um, or like when he ults, it does that too. Where, oh. he, where he goes like, I can't do Trump like uh, the power of the lion, the power of the lion, the power of the lion tiger. Like leaps forward and, and like, it's a huge hitbox. Um, Donald Trump digivolve too. <laughs> he's like use saber attack. Yeah, you could and do then, one, like, one mega evolve a day. And yeah, that's yeah, yeah. And he goes saber attack. Here it comes. <laughs> biggest biggest teeth you ever saw. <laughs> and then like it's just like you see the the. Uh, the lion or whatever I don't fucking know it's called Trumpamania oh, oh cool. they have little names and yeah the one to the left is crypto called payment. Crypto Payment <laughs> 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 no it says Crypto President Crypto President shut up what that's, that's nothing that yeah. doesn't mean anything they call me the Crypto President fight 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 is he in a nightclub he has like two right hands or whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah wait look the boxing glove has fingers Oh yeah, that's it's a UFC glove. <laughs> he does love his the UFC. His, his fingers are that thing. It's like a catcher's <laughs> mitt. <laughs> yeah, it's like Hulk hands. Yeah. <laughs> Tr- and that one just says Trump. It's almost like Trump doing the fist from when he the the incident. Uh, oh, oh, and then I thought those were pterodactyls flying. <laughs> they appear to be that's his teammates. Jets. Yeah. Also, the- he's like mewing. And <laughs> 30 years younger. <laughs> Viewing 30 years younger holding the American flag at the perfect angle. Oh my god, dude. It's a shiny Trump. I gotta say, there is something. I saw some, like, you know, floating around campaign ads recently. And, and when I was growing up and I would see parodies of American commercials and stuff, I thought it was parody. Like, I thought it was heightened way beyond what they actually are. When, you know, I don't know, a show would have like a. It's about 30 Rock will have like a commercial in it and it'd be like deliberately absurd. Or yeah. Right? I didn't realize from a production and editing standpoint, that is exactly what they're like. It's like the product is crazier in the parody. Yeah. But the, the did campaign ads really do have the like, this is JD Vance. It's, uh, it's <laughs> like crazy. a big X on him. Uh, like it's for kids. Tim Walls was an assistant coach. The weakest sperm. <laughs> Do you want an assistant coach to be the vice president? I don't, am I supposed to hate okay. assistant coach? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be. It's supposed to be communicating. I guess he was also in government though. Like, shut up. Shut up. Bullshit. Digital trading cards. It's really something. These cards show me dancing. And American warrior. Here's Trump- okay, this is for sure. Wait, back up. 
<laughs> These the cards logo? show me dancing. These cards show me dancing and Not even me holding some bitcoins. Bitcoins. <laughs> <laughs> Just the uh, too many apples or whatever. Yeah, meme. You can't. <laughs> it's bitcoins. <laughs> him, him holding some bitcoins is him like uh, at a laptop, like. <laughs> Giving a thumbs up. Not, not, not selling. holding Captain America's <laughs> shield. <laughs> I know. Does it replace with the Bitcoin logo? Is that allowed? <laughs> Probably just, not. <laughs> but it would just be like one of the million uh, court cases that yeah. he's going to fight and win. He uh, loses his right to vote because Disney sues him. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. I'm doing great things for my Trump digital card collectors. First, there's the real physical Trump cards. <laughs> the fact that they're called Trump cards... That was good. Really cool. Honestly, it feels like that was where they started. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we got to figure something out. It's so good. Yeah, they're like, oh, man, what can we do with the phrase Trump card? I feel like if Biden was called, like, Joe Badgick, and it's like, we have to do Badgick the Gathering. Yeah, so yeah, be hold something. on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, wait, what is? Oh, also, J.D. Vance plays Magic. We have to address uh, it. Played Magic. But he had a he had a really funny quote in that it was embarrassing what he said. <laughs> He had a dorky streak, including an interest in Magic the Gathering, the fantasy card game popularized in the 1990s. It was, Vance said when asked, a phase. That's the thing he wants to get, distance himself from? <laughs> yeah. Is playing Magic? The I big, dropped it like a bad habit. The big problem with transitioning from being a 13-year-old who likes Magic the Gathering to being a 15-year-old who likes Magic the Gathering is that 15-year-old girls do not like Magic the Gathering, he said. So I dropped it like a bad habit. I was a 13-year-old who liked Magic the Gathering. Loser. And I turned out fine. I'm just single. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. But I'm vice... No, I'm not. No, I'm not even vice president. <laughs> Wait. But at least I wrote a best-selling... Fuck. Oh, no. At least I made an embarrassing movie. Oh, oh. God. At least... At least I made some Oscar beat bullshit. No. Oh, well. I mean, there's nothing embarrassing about being into magic when you're 13. <laughs> distancing it, distancing yourself from it, being like, um, yeah, I had to drop that shit like a bad habit. Yeah, I just doesn't care about anything. Sorry. Have you... There's so many things. Uh, the ADHD attack. <laughs> Have you... <laughs> Have you seen the clip of J.D. Vance walking into a restaurant and trying to socialize with the workers there? No, he's, is he just being down to earth? Regular guy like Yeah, wait, can we pull that up? Because... Do you initiate J.D. Vance? Uh, the zoo has come to town. Thank you for letting us come in here. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Okay, yeah. she, she, she doesn't want to be on film, guys, so just cut her out of anything. <laughs> yeah, use the Marvel people. Go ahead, rotoscope her. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm in here since uh, the beginning of July. Okay. But this year. She's going to be on camera. Is it talking? Okay, sir. Uh, uh, almost two years. Okay, good. Just everything. Yeah, it'll be a lot of glazed here, some sprinkle stuff, some of these cinnamon rolls, just whatever. <laughs> some fucking whatever. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's like, so rude. It's like when you go do because this happened with like, I this goes way back, right? Like, oh, uh, the, I'm just a guy. I'm which, salty who was the president who like uh, was it Trump or who who ate pizza with a fork and knife and that was a whole thing? Uh, might have been Trump. I know Biden went ice cream mode. I, I Biden went ice cream and the the even the like Obama like ordering. I this has been a thing I remember way back where it's like, oh look at how charismatic Obama is mm. ordering a burger or whatever. He's like. You got a burger back there? <laughs> but everyone's like, oh my God, he's so charming. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, right, right, right. All right. All right. Look, I'm not... Um, that's like... I, I, the world is different. This is for some reason a thing that everyone does for like a... For PR. And... And it's just so awkward. It's, uh, and then you know he's doing it for PR. And so he doesn't give a shit about what he's doing. It's uncanny because we know what interactions are supposed like, to yeah, be. Yeah, I'm gonna get a uh, fucking glaze. And what do you sell here? What are these? <laughs> he just goes to a black barber shop. Donuts? He's like, hello, homies. Dude, what? now if he went to a card shop. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, that would unfortunately be relatable. Himself. Yeah. Uh, you notice his haircut, right? His bowl cut. Oh, At yeah. the back, that bizarre like anime puff that <laughs> just shoots out like a Pikmin. Like a cow lick. All right, yeah. Because all I, it's funny because I think people were making fun of this for his small talk, just being like asking every person how long <laughs> they've been there. Some wrinkle stuff, cinnamon rolls. I know what things are. What's the point where his energy shifts? Because initially, he you know he tries to engage with like, oh, well, just want to be deflated, in camera, and yeah. then he was like, I'll oh, just take a fucking <laughs> whatever you got. Okay, give me a burger. Guys, so just cut her out of Cut her out. Just digitally remove her. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you some questions. Though. Replace her with Chris Evans. <laughs>
it's so funny to be like, hey there, I'm JD Vance. I'm running for vice president. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Okay. Right. Also, the way he asks the question is this just very like off putting. You could be like, oh, how long have you worked here? Like, right, there's but an he's energy. like, how long you worked here? It's yeah, like an interrogation. All. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust you. He's like, why are you asking? Say it into the big box in my chest. He brought like the full secret service. <laughs> probably not <laughs> yeah. the secret service, but like, at least on this side, we can see like a team of suited men. He's got his entourage. Almost two years. Okay. Pumps to everything. Yeah, it'll be a lot of glazed tears and sprinkle stuff. About four years. Okay. How long have you been here? A little over six months. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. So, Approved. <laughs> so the only question he asks these people is, "How long have you been here?" Yeah. It's like he's. It's like he's. Thinks he's at his own meet and greet. Yeah. They, and then, like, people like want to meet him. That's the least follow upable question ever. Because it's just an answer. Hey, what's your favorite color? Red. Okay. Yeah. Good. Like, these are not the owners of the shop. Did he they're just, just people who work at the fucking donut go store. Go away. And they're like, I'm just trying to do my. Like, this has now added a complication to my work. It's not fun. I don't want to be on camera. It doesn't pay me more money. It doesn't help me pay my bills. <laughs> I think that this is relatable for the workers because, like, who gives a shit? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't care about you. I'm dude. running for American vice president. Okay. Oh, I think that there's this like thing where it's like, oh, I mean, everybody must love hard American labor. Like we're doing our jobs. And it's like people are just trying to make ends meet doing right. whatever. Yeah. And he's down to earth. He gets it. Um, I'll take uh, some whatever you're and feeling. I don't know the... I don't know anything about this donut shop. I can tell you that if you're going to go to a donut shop in Georgia, you absolutely have to go to Sublime Donuts. And that's the only option. How long have they been there? Um, they've been there at least since I was in college. <laughs> how much staff do they have for me to ask how long they've been there? <laughs> how long have you been there? Mm. Somebody walked out from the back. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you. How long have you been there? Tenya, now. <laughs> like, this is not a like a partisan thing. It's just like this type of PR thing is annoying for everyone involved. I know. It's because it's not like... Okay, so let's say he goes in. To, it's a like little featurette. And it's uh, just with members of the cabinet or something. And it's like, oh, weird. Like, Obama used to do a lot of stuff like that. It's like, yeah. oh, it's cutesy. Always doing, like, hot ones equivalent or right, something right. like that. But that it has the suspension of disbelief because it's like a production. Feels like TV. Mm -hmm. right? When it's candid like this, you have to be so charismatic. You have to, like, have such riz. Who put him here? Someone posted a clip of Tim Walls doing a similar thing, which again, the construction of this is just like purely PR. And so it's like, whatever. I have not seen the Tim Walls one. And so I'm curious now. I think it's in the replies, Jacob, actually. We really came just to go to runs and then we did a little rally on the side when we had a little Amazing. extra time. Amazing. If you don't know, the iconic Nebraska restaurant is the Runza. Get this guy on TV for Runza. Thanks for the work you're doing. It matters. Appreciate it. Thanks everybody. Pleasure to meet you all. Wow. Uh, the zoo has come to town. Oh. The zoo has come down is a very funny The open. zoo has come to town in a very deadpan. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a BoJack yeah. horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who's this? No, but you know what? So there's a couple things that stand out to me. One, unedited content on bottom, edited content on top. I'm sure there's lots of dead air and awkward moments in the Tim Walsh thing, yeah. but they didn't release it. <laughs> <And it's, laughs> you know? It's short for it's shot on an iPhone as opposed to a Motorola Razor. Yeah. For some fucking reason. Or this well, we actually don't know because because of how this is like framed this particular edit. So I don't know it what like it was a, shot on, but it's like a candid. Like but it's the, at the very least on Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, the it also feels like he's like has a connection to the community and a connection to like a local restaurant. Jacob like lit up and he was like, oh, I know this place. But the thing is, I, it's like, I'm I'm actually trying to be more fair than I need to be here. But I'm sure JD Vance has a place that he could go where like he has a connection to it. <laughs> no. And he doesn't just go, who are you? Uh -huh. What do you do? How long have you been here? A place he's never been. Like literally he's asking <laughs> for the Wikipedia page of the business. He should go to the furniture store. He dates. It really is like it, it, someone caught him. The zoo has come to town. Hey, the zoo's here. Also, no other patrons in there because they kicked him out or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. JD Vance said he looks There's terrible. 20 secret. It was secret service. See, oh. this is what I mean. Are they going to shoot the donuts? 20 secret service agents and 15 cameras. <laughs> what do you mean? Why? Vance said that his stops aren't scripted events. I'll say. But maybe they should be. Like, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> because like if someone shows up with 20 secret or uh, special serv uh, secret service agents, 15 cameras 
and kicks everybody else out of your store, that is not a visit. That is a siege. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You were, <laughs> he probably meant circus. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the circus has come to town to make so much more sense. The, oh, that's so fucking hey, funny. Hey, the movie theater's here. <laughs> hey, the moose is loose. <laughs> hey, guys, the juice is loose. Uh, no, the, no, sorry. No, the, no. the circus is loose. I've been talking to lots of friends and they're like, I got off Twitter. It's like too toxic over there. The only reason that I am still on Twitter is because for some reason, my feed is almost no politics and is entirely drama from small communities that in which the drama is like inconsequential to like humanity. It's amazing that it worked. The algorithm finally worked finally. for someone and it was finally. you. It targeted you. The, uh, uh, it so has everything on that app. So I wanted to, I thought maybe we could have a little segment. Um, you know, we have Jordan's very important question. Oh, yeah. We could have um, uh, Jarvis's drama from something that doesn't, <laughs> Jarvis's drama that doesn't matter. You live for the drama, yes? Jarvis is inconsequential. Jarvis lives for the drama. There we go. Everyone brew your tea for a second. I just want to make sure everyone's like, what's it called, steeping? Here, here's the thing. We've gotten into magic uh, after we talked about Wizard sending the Pinkertons after somebody no, right. <laughs> for the uh, March of the Machines thing. Um, Is that, that what was, it was for? It was for March of the Machines. It was for March of the Machines. Oh, and so wow. I, I was reminded because I'm looking. It was uh, it was like for March of the Machines, the aftermath or something, which isn't even a full set. Like the fact that that shit happened is absolutely bananas. So anyway, Wizards is often embroiled in controversy. Before that, there was the 30th anniversary of Magic controversy. Blah blah blah. Uh, my at them. There are obviously we never and then. Uh, we never place blame on employees of, of these companies, of which I know some people uh, who work at Wizards, and they're wonderful people. Some of which I've actually known for a very long time. There's a crazy story there, but none of the ones that hire bounty hunters. Yeah, it, it, and 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 also Hasbro is now the parent company, and so there's all these like conflicting, confounding factors. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to show you a magic card, and I want to hear your thought process looking at the card. Okay. So, um, <laughs> is it one of the ones with a racist name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's reparations. Uh, Jacob, can you search Nadu N A D U? Oh, that is, guy, I have that. Yeah, because this came out in Modern Horizons 3, which the set came out a couple months ago. Um, do you want to give this a read? Yeah, it's a three drop, it's the three four legendary creature bird wizard. <sighs> Flying creatures you control have, whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your hand. This ability triggers only twice per turn. So when you read this, what Each goes, what goes through your mind? When I read this? Yeah. Um, Do you think this card is good, bad? I The first thing that jumps to mind is that I, it, I have thought about it and it might have utility in my Flubs deck. Because mm -hmm. it's nice to, it never hurts to play things from not in your hand sometimes for certain decks, especially. In the I would say often. It's very good. And uh, you're also retaining the cards in your hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because this is like a free better than a draw. I just don't see it. I, one of the first times I've seen the uh, limitation, the, the trigger limitation of twice per turn. Mm -hmm. like a very That's a great, a great observation. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> whenever it's whenever it is whenever uh, twice is every creature has it twice per turn yeah not creatures yep every individual creature the ability that's right creatures have it not oh that's yeah. rough dude <laughs> that's insane <laughs> that did so it just it's banned surely right well so uh for, Nadu. Sorry, just to clarify for people, the reason we're saying that's crazy is that so it's already a good ability, but because the creatures themselves have it, as opposed to your battlefield or the player using it, it means you can do this very good thing twice for every single creature if, you have. If Nadu simply said the instead of creatures you control, you deleted that text and it just said whenever this creature becomes a target of spell or ability, reveal the top card if it's a land card put in your battlefield. This ability only triggers twice each turn. It would probably see some play. Yeah, but instead, it gives it to everything. Um, and so, um, there's another card, Shuko S H U K O. Oh, this is a uh, Kamigawa. Yeah, so this is a uh, Saviors of Kamigawa, Betrayers of Kamigawa. Sorry. Yeah, this is a uh, Betrayers oh. of Kamigawa. Uh oh. Uh, but yeah, give this a read. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Remind me. The trigger was um, spells or abilities. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's as fuck. <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, wait. So, 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 explain your thought process. Going back to Shuko, why is this interesting? Why so, is this good? Shuko is a, uh, the way equipment works for people that are not super familiar with Magic: The Gathering. Is that equipment can be played as a permanent that comes onto the battlefield for its main price. Correct. And then you pay an additional price to put it on a creature of your choice. Mm -hmm. You're not limited to doing that once per turn. That's correct. You're limited by the cost of the equip. That is absolutely so correct. Typically, quality of the item or utility of it is kind of balanced by either what it costs to put it out and or the equipment cost. Yep. There is a handful of cards that can be equipped for zero, mm -hmm. but generally they have like limited or specific utility mm -hmm. and they're only useful if you keep it on them so in the in this goes zero to equip and one notable thing about this that you left out are you can you equip to a creature that's already equipped with something yes <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> yeah. so uh so with all that being said this card was sitting in a bunch of bargain bins it was like worth like, of no a money. Just covered yeah, it was like at, go to go to uh, Shuko TCG player, and then there's gonna be a graph at the bottom. Scroll down. So there's a one year tab on the bottom on the right. Now mm -hmm. let's look at January. Roll over January 2024. I see a small spike actually. So so this card was like a dollar. Sold easy. Probably had some niche play because uh, I think it did have some niche play because of the zero. Uh, zero to tar target a, yeah, because modification, because it activates a it activates targeted ability so it's got play in anything that wants to be targeted there's lots of abilities and magic that when this creature becomes the target and if you can do that for free and so shuko essentially says one permanent repeatedly act uh, be able to use target like abilities sure. well this is good because i ordered um but, I mean, you know, look, maybe I was spent a little bit. I, I ordered 500 of them, but I ordered it closer to May, I think. Yeah, so in May, let's go ahead and look at what the price of it I was. I didn't check the price when I did that. Yeah, you didn't check the price because you, you're, you've you got it like that. We just signed a $100 million podcasting contract. Oh. And so at its peak... June 3rd. I ordered it June 4th. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, at its peak, Shuko was hitting about... It peaked at $39. Mm. And the reason is because, as you highlighted... Shuko and Nadu busted is fucking <laughs> crazy. So when Nadu came out, uh, everybody was like, "This card's busted." There was like some deck. This is all, by the way, my understanding as someone who did not play like modern during this time. Um, but uh, my understanding is so. There's this card called Thassa's Oracle, and Thassa's Oracle is uh, when it enters, you look at the X top cards of your library, where X is your devotion to, devotion to blue. Mm -hmm. Devotion is the number of blue symbols or pips in the uh, cost of the card. So Thassa's Oracle, from when it gets played, it's by default two. Um, so if you, for example, had a card that allows you to draw your whole deck with one interaction, uh, then you could go down to one card and then... Uh, if you were if your deck was one card and you I could be getting this wrong because again I don't play this combo, but if if X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in the library, like for example, if it was two or one, you win the game and you could choose to draw and do things as much as you want. Um so anyway, that that was that's like a win condition for uh like mill decks and shit like mm -hmm. that. This went out and did not get banned. And then it completely, completely, completely dominated. And Modern Horizons, by the way, is a type of set that comes out every couple of years and it's very divisive because yes. modern is a format that is uh, cards from 2003 onward based on the introduction of the modern card frame so like there's the retro card frame and then like with eighth edition and mirrodin which is like when your boy started playing as a child uh that's when they introduced they changed the card frame that's the modern format and the idea is it's a it's a living format that really only gets changes when the idea of it is that something leaves standard it leaves the standard rotation because standard rotation is like two years i think they're moving to three years um and then it can still have a life in modern some of the favorite most powerful cards and but because modern has 20 years worth of cards since 2003 um it's going to be a pretty strong format and so what they do is they release these modern horizons sets with the goal of kind of power creeping modern and having a pseudo rotation in modern because the introduction of a whole new set of really powerful cards 
could potentially upset the balance of a sure. meta that's based on these mostly 20 year old cards. And it's divisive because people are like, this is antithetical to the spirit of modern because you're printing a set that goes directly into modern and it's meant to upset the modern um, meta game. And so are you not essentially creating rotation because now you are releasing sets specifically to power creep the stuff that's already really strong. So anyway, MagicCon Amsterdam happens a couple of months ago and it's the first Nadu event. And like most of the top eight is Nadu. And then it becomes very clear that Nadu is the strongest deck in the format. It's completely warped the format. Everything is either Nadu decks or things that directly counter Nadu decks. And it is a bad idea to play a thing that counters Nadu because uh, you should just play Nadu b- <laughs> yeah. because uh, you you because Nadu is good against the whole field and the anti Nadu decks and anti Nadu is only good against Nadu. Oh, uh, and so I might just be a real piece of shit and put him in the flubs deck and not tell Katie. And- <laughs> uh, so so Wizards actually ahead of Magic Con was like, heads up, we're not banning anything into Magic Con because they wanted people. They didn't. They in their words didn't want to give people the fear that they wanted people to have a stable metagame that they could like plan around for this tournament. And, uh, they didn't want to shake anything up once people had already started testing for the, for the new format. So not, it comes out, it dominates and it is dominated. And they were like, also they came out and said, we are not going to update our cycle of when, uh, BNR happens, ban and restricted list updates. And so, uh, and so then this card is basically, making everyone not want to play the game because the options are play this deck that also it's got like lots of long and drawn out complicated turns and yeah. stuff. And you've got to do this tracking nightmare of uh, only two times per creature. Bans happened this week. Ban ban uh, reveals happened this week. And surprise, surprise, Nadu is now banned. Just Behind the shed. Just in, in modern. Uh, it's not as broken a card in like commander for example because there's so much variance in commander and uh also you can't run four ofs of everything so you're yeah. just uh cuz that's the thing it's like these thing it's like hyper specialized to do this specific combo i would say 50% of memes i saw out of the mtg twitter were naughty related uh for the past 2 months <laughs> And uh, it was getting compared to Hogak, which was this other deck that, that was introduced in Modern Horizons 1 or 2, probably 1. And it was like a ridiculous strategy that had to get banned. But then I think for that one, Wizards like didn't initially ban the problem card. Because sometimes when they release new cards, they don't want to ban the problem card. They want to maybe ban yes, some of the yeah. other pieces so that people can still play with the new card. There's a controversy right now about the one ring from Lord of the Rings, where it's represented in 50% of decks because it's a really good card. Uh, uh, but they haven't banned it. And normally, like, you want to ban stuff that removes um, choice from the game. So, like, an example I would give is uh, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card called Pot of Greed, and it just says, yes. draw two cards. That card, uh, there's no reason for a deck not to run Pot of Greed. And so it isn't 100% of the decks. So now the design space of Yu-Gi-Oh! is 39-card decks instead yeah. of 40-card decks because it's 39 Why plus pot of greed. Not? Why would you ever not play it? Nadu gets banned, and uh, one of the designers, one of the lead designers on Modern Horizons 3 releases a blog post about, Never good news. about how it came to this. And I want to show you the blog post. So um, right when you Googled Nadu the first time, the blog post actually came up as a second result, Jacob. Which is why I wanted Jordan to close his eyes. So this is by Michael Majors. Uh, as the lead designer of Modern Horizons 3, I wanted to weigh in on our decision today. And it's called On Banning Nadu Winged Wisdom in Modern. And then the second line is, Nadu Winged Wisdom was a design mistake. <laughs> Bold. He, there's a line here where he says, the deck was beautifully built in a logistical nightmare. <laughs> this is like a letter back from the front in World War One. <laughs> yeah. The, the journeys we're having in France. They uh, show what the card was like in development. So it used to be uh, one GU. They use U for blue because uh, B is for black. And, you know, they both start with BL. I've been using S for black and B for blue. That's funny. I should, I G. But, but you, yeah, B for black and U for, it's not, it's not obvious. (laughs) I'll tell you that. Why G? G is green. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Yeah, why U is 
blue. U is blue because uh, the it's the first different letter between oh. blue and black. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, because B, yep, L, yep, <laughs> U. Oh, okay. Um, Ooh. <laughs> so this one, this version of Nadu says, you may cast permanent spells as though they had flash. Then it says, whenever a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, Ooh. reveal the top card of your library if it's a land card. And then it has the rest of the ability. But notably here, your opponent has to target it. Yeah. Which is a very different effect than you being able to control that. And this card is fine. Like, this card is, like, fine. Because other than you may cast permanent spells as though they had flash. Now, they they bring on contractors to do playtesting. But these contractors are, like, respected, like, pro players yeah. and shit like that. In one of these meetings, there was a great deal of concern raised by Nadu's flash-granting ability for commander play. So, so the concern was for commander. Because mm -hmm. you can reliably always have that card. Yeah, because you could reliably always have the card. And, uh, and then they say, after removing the ability, it wasn't clear that the car would have an audience or a home. Ultimately, my intention was to create a build around aimed at commander play, which resulted in the final text. This is a huge line that makes people upset. Do you, can you spot why? Uh, well, because it were... Because this, because what set is this? This, this set is aimed at this is a, play. this is Modern Horizons three, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, why are you designing around Commander? We wanted it to work for Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, literally, and so quite literally, there's a huge controversy now because they're like, people are like, why are you like? Because already people are frustrated with like wizards catering too much to Commander because the spirit of Commander, which by the way is a casual format that can be played with up to four players. And most of the cards in Magic's history are illegal, but it's a singleton format where you can only run one of every card. And then you run one card as your commander, and that card lives in a special zone, and it can always be cast from that zone. And when it dies, you can choose to put it back in that zone. It's like a fun, casual format that like, I enjoy playing casually, emphasis on casual, with friends. Mm -hmm. It is also the most popular format of Magic. And it is one format that Wizards doesn't actually uh, do the banning ban list for. It's a different committee. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the government. It's the. It's actually it's the, the president's government. daughter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a date later. <laughs> yeah. Lots of vitriol about this. Lots of just people so mad about uh, the fact that they're designing for commander, which I understand because commander players will find a way. They yeah. do not need specific cards catered to them, but in in selling a product, people want to make se things seem obviously attractive mm. to commander players and the a product where like you're not guaranteed to get this in a given set yeah so you're more incentivized to buy a lot of it and here's another line that everyone hates i missed the interaction with zero mana abilities that are so problematic the last round of folks who were shown the card in the building missed it too we didn't play test with nadu's final iteration as we were too far along in the process and it shipped as is so they We're didn't too far along. Yeah, because like you know, like it takes like a really long time to like do well, all. Then the... you don't ship it. That's what, yeah, literally. <laughs> just don't ship the car. If we you can't... forgot to put text on it, but hey, it's already too late. We did the artwork, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like then just don't ship it, and it's like I get that it's like someone's pet because like, this guy didn't design Nadu, but he was the lead designer, so he oversaw everything, and uh, it's like okay. Yeah, just don't ship the card is like the obvious thing. I don't know what complication would involve there. I, I do have a friend who has like the same job title as this guy at Wizards who I've actually known for many, many years. And uh, High Sorcerer. Yeah, High Sorcerer. Uh, keeper of the Gate. <laughs> <laughs> Accidental um, opener of the Gate. Uh, so I will say that like... Uh, I don't want any bad vibes going this person's way. I have a lot of empathy and a lot of uh, respect for people who work on this game that I love. And uh, But the drama is centering about... You, people are not focusing on this person. They're just saying Wizards as a whole, your process, how could you let this happen? And, because and play it, testers and everyone, yeah. Yeah, it's like, what do you mean you didn't play test? If you didn't play test with a card, uh, then don't how could you release it in good faith into a format where it's now going to run off and become the best card in the format? And I just read, you just showed me the text of them each and I got it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm not a play and you're not a, you're I'm not a, a play tester. Yeah, yeah, you're not a, you're not a pro magic player. You're not a game designer. No, I'm a cool guy. Yeah, you're just a cool, cool guy who does stuff. sports. Actually. Yeah, and I know where it goes. And so, uh, back at the bat. And so the other thing, I had Nadu played against me in pre-release uh, and now, now I can feel like I can complain adequately 
pre-release for MH3, I played it uh, in person, Paper Magic. My opponent said to me, I'm sorry, and played two Nadu. <laughs> I was like, that is particularly rare to happen because there's lots of rares, and you yeah. only open up a couple of rares in a pre-release. You got nothing personnel catered. And then at the time, I was like, what is going on? And this was limited, so he couldn't like fully pop off. There was nothing in the set that like let him go cuckoo banana style. <laughs> yeah. cuckoo. Uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> And uh, and still, I was like, man, that card's oppressive. And this, you know, this person says ultimately their, their responsibility, and I I respect them saying that and whatever. But the people are running away with we didn't play test as like people are screenshotting that uh, because would you believe that this happened? This exact thing happened twenty years ago. Did no. You? Oh, okay. Well, let's move on. So this was a thing that happened with Skull Clamp. Oh, oh yeah, fucking of course. And then the oh because God. skull clamps original designs were like plus one plus one, and they were like, oh, this might be a little too strong, and so they <laughs> you they put plus one minus you one. You can just kill with it. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is banned. It's a in, one equip. Right? This yeah. is banned in modern, and it's not legal in standard because it rotated out. But it was banned in standard because of the artifact affinity decks that could. This printed originally in dark steel, which was my favorite set from my childhood. And uh, and so it's incredible in Commander where it's still uh, legal. It's played in Vintage where it's still legal because it's just a busted card. And Vintage, it plays with like Black Lotus. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like some of the strongest cards. Your graveyard is in any way beneficial to you. Then so, you just but it is banned in Legacy because uh, I, I believe the difference between Vintage and Legacy is Vintage is a one of format oh, right. uh, where everything's restricted to one. It's like most things are legal, but you can only play uh, one of the most broken is cards <laughs> instead of four. So I just thought that was wild that <laughs> it's a, a similar thing has happened again. What we're, is playtesting if not what we're doing right now? Yeah. It's I, just reading the cards. And, and I like, get there's like a, they? there's a ton of cards, but then, but these situations are so egregious. It's a card that like, somehow it slipped through the cracks and then destroyed a format. Yeah, you're also, you know, wizards of the coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do some magic. Double the budget. <laughs> yeah. Right, exactly. Uh, all right, so that's my um, my love for the drama. So something that has been in the zeitgeist that we popped on our list today mm -hmm. is very demure, very, very mindful. mindful. We have now officially ended the point at which I know anything about this because I have been hearing the term. Oh, okay. And I know nothing about it. I've been- mm, That's very for me, especially, I've been extremely bad lately <laughs> and I've been living for the drama. Uh, Esked it. And I do not- Eskibbity. <laughs> Eskibbity. Yeah, anyway, we're young as hell. You know, Fortnite, <laughs> free bucks, shit. Uh, my mom's gonna pick me up later. I have that uh, uh, Lars Ulrich Metallica skin on Fortnite. That's how young <laughs> I am that they for some reason have. I do not know anything about it, but I've just been even more than usual kind of offline with this stuff. I now hear things are bad. It's bad things are happening related. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. But what is it? Yeah, so we, we can watch the original. Perfect. And it is very demure? And very mindful. Okay. Well, I like half of that. And the creator, by the way, just so we name them up top, is Jules LeBron. You see how I do my makeup for work? very demure very mindful i don't come to work with a green cut crease i don't look like a clown when i go to work i don't do too much i'm very mindful while i'm at work see how i look very presentable the way i came to the interview is the way i go to the job a lot of you girls go to the interview looking like marge simpson and go to the job looking like patty and selma <laughs> not demure i'm very modest i'm very mindful you see my shirt only a little chichi out, not my chocho. <laughs> Be mindful of why they hired you. Here's your reality check, Diva. What's the name you'd like me to make it out to? <laughs> so in TikTok fashion, like, you know, this becomes like a big, uh, big sound. It's the meme of the moment, right? Sure. It's like everybody's like talking about it. Like, I didn't even know what it is. And I still heard about Hawk it. Hawk to a girl. You know, we had, you know, all these things. And much like Hawk to a girl, we were just talking about it. It's like, let's have it so that, you know, when this happens, it's not just the you know young white women of the world mm. who get popular off of these things let's not have let's let's have people of color let's have you know like trans people be able to profit from their memes and profit their from output, their yeah. output yeah and when when everyone else takes it and runs with it you know what i mean mm. like um because well i guess like the thing the nice 
nice thing. I mean, it's, it feels weird to say nice thing about TikTok or like nice thing about social media or whatever. Is that there's almost like an implied attribution now when you use a sound because it's in the system. Yeah. Will it as long it? as the person that, as long as everyone is being a good actor and yeah. and not re-uploading the video themselves and using the sound, because then not demure. That's not demure or mindful. I mean, another thing that can happen is like the Charlie D'Amelio situation with like the renegade dance where like a dance is pop or excuse me, a dance is created by like a young black woman or girl. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think she was like a minor or something. Some yoink. And then, and then it gets yoinked no thanks. by, by someone who uh, is popular or has a platform um, or even doesn't have a platform at that time, but is a, uh, their carriage of that, message or form or content is what blows up and then there's like little to no attribution backwards sure. there's not putting like pulling down the it's uh, pulling it up for it's pulling up the the ladder uh, with you <laughs> grabbing the la ladder as they almost get one of the rugs yeah hitting yeah them them fa fashioning the ladder and then you climbing up it and then pulling it up <laughs> and then uh, a throwing the ladder away and saying it never existed <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and so uh and you jumped up you uh and th so this started out things were going well hey um Bendeja, maybe you should maybe you should make the videos. Maybe you should make the videos because one day I was playing cashier and making videos be on my break and now I'm flying across country to host events and I'm gonna be able to finance the rest of my transition. I finally said it without crying. Oh that's really sweet. She was featured on RuPaul. Hey. Uh, or on Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel, hosted by RuPaul. Oh. oh, was it like, is he like sick or something? It was like a guest host. Gotcha. Yeah. We broke his arm again. <laughs> I spent the weekend watching this video of a very demure TikToker. And you know, I love it so much. I asked Jules to come and be on the show. So we tracked her down and here she is tonight. I tracked her down. Jules, <laughs> what does demure mean to you? I feel like demure is like a mindset. I used to be crazy and out of control, and then I found some demurity, <laughs> and along with that came success. Wait, they gotta I, trademark that. You gotta demuralize. D d d yeah, I, I'm feeling very demuralized right now. So Put I me in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. Demurity? Demurity is my purity. <laughs> A lot of celebrities have uh, done the demure videos, including myself. Um, uh, uh, who was the most surprising to you? I think JLo, because she finally revealed what that orange drink from the block was. So this is this is the high. This is like we're we're building momentum, right? This Jules, is great. Jules LeBron's taking over America. Why not let it just be good? Let's yeah. have something be good. And uh, thanks, guys. I assume that's the end of it, and there's no kind of sad, sad and prestige. So ben, to it comes out that that she's unable to launch merch because her viral phrase was already trademarked. And already. do we have the name of the person who trademarked? Because it was like trademarked like a few days ago. Yeah. yeah. An individual named Jefferson Bates in Washington State filed to trademark the phrase very demure, very mindful. So it's like very clear mm -hmm. that it's like such a specific phrase that you don't accidentally have. Well, I mean, it could happen, you know. Yeah. For Someone with the most fucking VC name I've ever seen yeah. in my life, by the way. Jefferson Bates. He's hiding. So we don't know who he is, but this kind of thing is so shitty. It's just because, so like, obviously shitty. But like, I think but but there may be there may be an upside. But it's but regardless of whether or not you can get around this, well let's well, well let's hear Jules first. Like this this merch situation is like really like like fucking me up. Like uh, like, I've just invested so much money and time into this. And I feel like I did it wrong. Like, I feel like I didn't try hard enough. And like, like I wanted this to like do so much for like my family and like provide for my transition. And like, I just feel like I dropped the ball. Like, I feel like I fucked up and like someone else has it now. I think that this is like, um, People who squat domains not for a per business purpose, but because like they want to get a domain before, like I'm sure someone has already bought very very, very mindful dot com or something like sure, that. Like yeah, and like that that's so shitty because it's taking. It's not. It's making. taking. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's not just, doing anything. It's not like a good business decision. It's, yeah, it's just like just because you can doesn't mean you should. It's me pouring your drink away because I don't have. One. Right. Right. Oh. 
it's it's a uh, it's it's counterspelling rather than <laughs> yeah. putting something productive on the board. Right. Oh, I guess we'll skip a tune. Yeah, I do think that time is of the essence with some of these things, and rather than you know like Hawk Tua like counterfeit merch was like immediately available. You know what I mean? So it's like I, and I'm sure there's counterfeit you know very demure, very mindful merch, and Jules LeBron and her family are not seeing that money. And that's like fucked, especially when it's, yeah, time is of the essence, right? Because it's like when something goes viral, you have to strike while the iron's hot. I mean, she um, says when, like, she's saying when she's disappointed that she didn't trademark fast enough, but the reality is like trademarking something really, really quickly like that is only something you have to be at least have a part of your mind that is very cynically business oriented. And it's expensive. And most people should. And it's, it's not okay. like I've looked into trademarking stuff and it's not like a. You snap your fingers and you do it. Yeah. Especially when, I mean, she's busy. <laughs> she's been, yeah. she's had things going on and, and really like any chance you would have to do that. Th- th- whoever she's working with is going to take advantage. Is probably going to take a huge portion of it. It's probably like, it's trademarking as just a like, you don't, it's not like going on um, GoDaddy. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, qu- I got it quickly. I hate, dude, trademark IP rights is such bullshit. Yeah. It's like an arms race. Like, the only reason it should exist is because it already does. Like, none of this should exist. The The reason it exists is to protect people like Jules, and it's only being weaponized against her. Yeah, it's only, it. the argument is that it will protect people who deserve to have the rights to their thing. Right. Well, like, with things like copyright, right, it's like they're meant to protect the small artists, but then, like, Disney... Uh, lobbies the most expensive lawyers in the world to yeah, make it like, so that like <laughs> the 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 deadline for something going to the public domain is further extended so that Mickey like so that Mickey Mouse can be as far out of the public domain as possible. Yeah. Though that's like been less and less successful over the years, which is the hope that like the spirit of these things can be uh upheld. And there is hope, but the hope comes in the form of a TikTok from a trademark lawyer. (laughs) Jules is going to be just fine. Let's talk about why. So first and foremost, we have a lot of time. The U.S. Trademark Office has just started reviewing trademark applications from this past January. Plus, it usually takes over a year for the trademarks to actually get registered, and that's if everything goes really well. A lot of the times it takes two years or more. The next thing is to be a trademark, it has to actually function. Meaning that the trademark, very demure, very mindful, would have to be actually used in connection with goods or services with products. Here, the application that he filed was 1B, which means that he intends to use it. But to get and keep the registration, you would actually have to use it. He would have to be making very demure, very mindful merchandise or advertising materials. The next thing is the date of first use. The person who uses the trademark first gets priority, even if somebody else applied first. Jules TikTok is very clear that she has been using very demure, very mindful in connection with advertising services. Her ads that are on there, um, her money that she makes from TikTok would all be evidence that Jules has been using this trademark. Also going on national television and being like, (laughs) so this is the phrase that you do and it's your very special phrase. And then she goes, very demure, very mindful. (laughs) And we copyrighted Steve Urkel, but he's not involved in any way. He says... Did I do that? I actually came up with that. Yeah. Not Steve. Nope. So yeah, that's the no hope. Evidence. Okay, we can keep watching this. It's who told, who, wait, how was she informed that the copyright had been put in place, but not told what that means? Because, well, if anything is like related to the government, you know how it's like, they'll tell yeah. you no, but won't tell you what. Hey, what a, what's the next step in the visa process? Oh, there's one after this one. Yeah. So what, but what is the next? So he applied for advertising, marketing, and promotional services, which is a very narrow class. This does not include merchandise, clothing, podcast, anything like that. Also notice where it says attorney of record, it says none, meaning that he filled out this application himself. I'm not saying it's impossible to get a trademark registered by filling out the application yourself, but I'm just saying it's a bit more difficult. It's like representing yourself in court. I don't know this person. And so I could be wildly off here, but this seems like such loser behavior. I know, dude. It's like representing yourself in court and you did it. 
<laughs> like, like it's like yeah, it's like i've got it you see a meme online does this guy just go in like is this the only one that he's done or does every oh, time a, yeah. a phrase show up he just goes and fills out the form himself he's one of the ones that replies with an etsy link and it's like a facebook to like, style t-shirt with text or going further what's to stop someone from making a bot that just like does this for any set phrase whenever it becomes popular. Lastly, this man has a history of trying to trademark popular slogans and family. I knew he, it. He tried to trademark a let's ride. What a fucking loser. Tried to trademark let's ride and the application was abandoned. <laughs> he tried to trademark take command and go Broncos let's ride and the applications you were tried dead. To what kind go of- Go Broncos. Go Broncos insane. let's ride. This person does have the brain of a like bug. <laughs> An insect's mind <laughs> to think- drugs. I'll be able to defeat the Denver Broncos in a legal sparring match. Yeah, let's uh, apply for uh, Joe Biden. Let's, yeah. say, let's see if we can grab Hillary. Actually, Clinton. Joe, I have a trademark on <laughs> Joe Biden, so I'm the I'm president. The president. Yeah. Like this singular guy is why the trademark office is so backed up. Because <laughs> yeah. he's just submitting hundreds Yeah, that's every actually, day. that is uh, a physical, that is literally called a denial of service attack. And it happens on websites and shit all the time because... Oh, they just back them Anytime, up with false. Yeah, yeah, because like traditionally, like a DOS is like when you overload a web server um, with a ton of computers uh, or, a, or a botnet or like, yeah, just a ton of um, little Let's bots. Yeah, because so the web server can only respond to so many requests at a time. And uh, unless you're at a certain scale or you have DDoS protection or... But this is a much more a thing on the old internet where... Um, like there was this thing called like the Reddit hug of death where like back in the early 2010s, something would be on the front page of Reddit and it would cause the website to go down right. because Reddit was so popular and the web servers that were hosting some of these things were not prepared for all of that traffic. It's just like upsetting though, because the very real distress that this caused Jules LeBron, because we talked about with the Hawk to a girl, it's like when all this stuff goes down, you're not, you don't immediately have all of the people yeah, in no place. Like like if something goes wrong with me, I have had years of building up the infrastructure to know who to call and to know who to direct these these things. And then we can trust them if you do call them. Right, and yeah. so it's like when something goes crazy, I would know who to reach out to. Hey, this guy, um, what happened like that recently? Oh, like when um, there were like counterfeit Jarvis Johnson merch website. There was a website called like Maybe it's called JarvisJohnsonMerch.com. And uh, it just so happened because of how the SEO of Google's algorithm worked. If you typed in Jarvis Johnson Merch, it would be like the second result. Mm. My real merch would be the first result, but still that's going to be misleading. And uh, so I knew who to talk to to get like Shopify to like take down their page because they were selling uh, counterfeit goods that were based on designs that we owned. Yeah. You know? And so... But but if I didn't have the infrastructure or the people to call, that's scary. You're like, what do I do? Well, you might not even think it's wrong. You might be like, well, I guess I failed. Yeah. I guess I didn't call people. Yeah, because I, I, I hate that like Jules is going through this thinking like I made all these mistakes when it's like, no, like you were just the victim of like a shitty actor. I mean, I didn't know that there were this many contingencies in the case of like yeah, a bad yeah. application. So I don't know why they would. Right. Uh, also, this is unrelated, but this happened... Um, uh, Lolo and Nole as well, where like anytime someone tells me they're a lawyer, it is like telling me they know Taekwondo. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> well, could, you could do that. I thought that was just for like movies and stuff. I know. Lawyers are so expensive and they charge by the hour. So I like need more lawyers in my life that I can ask stupid questions. <laughs> we need to know immigration lawyers socially. Oh, that'd be great. We need some homies. Because I would need one. I'd be able to be like, hey, level with me. Like over a drink. Like, why are y'all like this? <laughs> That's a hopeful place to end it. It's downright to me. We wish then. Jules the best. Um, and they, fuck the rest. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in the world, I hope, does poorly aside from her. Except for her. Yeah. So... We are going to wrap things up over here and head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash sadboys for as uh, low as $5 a month. You can check out our Patreon exclusive podcast, Sad, Sad Boys, Boys Nights, Nights. Bo -bo -bonus. Nights, where we will be uh, watching DVD special features of Black White, Black White today. Nights. There may be more of it, but it really depends on how it goes today because we haven't cracked open disc two. Can we call this one Sad Boys Whites? Ooh. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. You, I mean, um, you're the one who asked to be fair. <laughs> Uh, white boys nights. <laughs> <laughs> white nights. <laughs> white nights. <laughs>
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the White Knights. And also, last week, if you're interested in the uh, TCG drama from this week, there was some TCG drama at Pokemon Worlds that I talked about Steep in our tea. previous episode of Sad Boys Nights, but I just didn't want to put it on public blast because uh, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't think I will, but I just want to be safe. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Maintaining relationships. Be good. We end every episode of Sad Boys <laughs> with a particular phrase. We love you. And we're sorry. We, what you're now looking at is the DVD menu screen for Black White Disc 1. And it's cut like a fucking sitcom. Never, Look at the sizzle reel, dude. None of this was in the show. I actually don't hate this design, this little paneling thing. Oh, yeah. Let's warm up with the makeup slideshow. Remix. Because maybe the makeup slideshow has what I'm looking for. Okay. I thought for, okay, for a split second, I thought Brian here was a crash test dummy. <laughs> Giving it a, a Like, try. it's just like the lighting of everything. <laughs> Ghost. Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving, girl? Moving girl, how she dead looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah we on now. Take my money, go away, how you want it? Gucci rich for me.